left, so they'll just have to get it. Welcome to our working yoga session. Um, oh, there's a couple more. Okay. Um, here's our staff and crew. We got lots of people from when we used to only have two. Um, so we are changing our perspective today, and today's Win It Wednesday as well. Um, we're, we're using our sun products, right? It's Win It Wednesday. All of our sun products, so check us out in a little bit. And we also have Gretchen. <laughs> um, she's here with us today to um, bring her magic. She works at Do Good Yoga as, as well as I do, and Alexandra over there does too. Um, she subs there. And um, so, anyways, here we go. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for being here. Um, so, like Heather said, we're talking about shifting our perspective, and I think. You know, sometimes it can seem a little bit easier said than done, right? And so, um, one of the most powerful decisions that you can make is to choose to be in a good mood. And, you know, again, sometimes that just sounds like, oh, well, that sounds easy, that sounds like something simple to do, but how? How do we actually put that into practice? And one of the first steps is awareness. So being able to notice when you're kind of like slipping into that danger zone of doubt and despair and like all those thoughts that start to build in your mind, having a little red flag that goes up, being able to find your breath and then to choose, like, do I want to stay in this kind of shitty space or do I want to shift out of it? So choosing to shift. Um, and so our yoga practices or any other, any other thing that makes you feel good is a great way to bring about that shift. So today, since we're all here to practice yoga, we'll do that. We'll use that as our kind of way to make shift happen. So let's come down into child's pose to start. Knees out wide to the edges of your mat. Seat sinking back to find your heels. Arms outstretched long. Just nestling your ribs down in between your thighs so that your forehead can find the floor. And closing your eyes so that your awareness, your focus turns in. There will always be distractions around us. There will always be things that add a little bit of stress to our lives and that can pull us down. But our job is to stay aware, to notice when we start to feel the pull of doubt, of worry, and then instead to choose positivity choose to find our breath, to choose you know, affirming thoughts, reminding us of our strength, our innate state of calm, perseverance, resilience, knowing everything that we need to get through whatever life presents is right within ourselves. One more breath in, starting to inch the fingertips long towards the top of the mat, and feeling the sides of the waist lengthen. And then actively linking together breath and movement, attention and action, grip your fingertips into the mat, pull yourself forward to all fours. And stacking the shoulders over the wrists, knees right under the hips. And as you breathe in, lift your head and your tailbone, let your belly sway down towards the mat, collarbones open. Exhale, chin to your chest, round the spine, pull the pit of the belly up and in. Nice. Inhale, lift the crown of the head, open the collarbones, firm the triceps around the upper arm bones. Exhale, chin to chest, round the spine, scooping the pit of the belly up. Nice. One more time like that. Breathe in, lift the head, drop the belly, and exhale, round the spine, push the mat away. Breathe in, come back to your neutral spine. And extend the right leg long behind you. Right foot flex so the toes are pulling back towards the shin and that right heel is active like you're pressing into something behind you. Navel draws to spine, hips stay level, and then take the left arm out to the front of the room. So spinal balance. Each breath in brings a little bit more lift and a little bit more lightness. Each breath out, core stabilizing, creating strength in your spine. That's one more breath in. And then exhale, drop the left hand down, right toes over to the left edge of your mat, over towards your neighbor, gaze over the left. 
left shoulder to find the right heel. So a side body stretch. So right toes, like Simon says, right toes left to the left side of the room. Mm -hmm. Press through the ball of the foot, gaze over the left shoulder. So keep pulling your chest forward so you're feeling some space in between your right ribs, right ribs and right hip. Take a breath and lift the legs back up, bringing ankle, knee, and hip all in the line behind you. And then exhale, bend the elbows straight back, dipping the chest and the chin to the mat. So a little mini chaturanga, right toes high. Just breathe and press the ground away. And then release the right foot to meet the left. Just to rock side to side, reset your base, maybe even press the ribs left and right, just moving the spine. And then when you're ready, reset, left leg goes long behind you. Hip bones even with one another. Gaze down the tip of the neck, or down the tip of the nose, so the back of the neck is long. And then right arm reaches out in opposition. So you're reaching out to shake someone's hand. Thumb up, pinky down. Awesome, and then even as you reach, draw that upper arm bone, plug it back into the shoulder socket so the ears are moving away from the, or the shoulders are moving away from the ears. So take a breath in, lift up, reach, and then exhale, right hand comes down, left toes drop all the way over to the right side of the mat, gaze falls over the right shoulder, finding that heel. Awesome, just breathe into your left side body. Finding the breath, filling up, emptying out. Breathe and lift the leg back up, bring it to center, nice and even with the hips and then bend the elbows straight back. So elbows hug the ribs, dip the chest down, and then breathe and press your way back up. Drop the left knee, curl the toes under, lift the seat to the sky, downward facing dog. So hips are shoulder distance and width, feet are hip distance. Scooping the tailbone up and back, letting the chest melt back towards the thigh. And then breathe and rock forward to a high plank, shoulders over the wrist. And so work out the spacing. Now, keeping your hands and your feet where they are, take the tailbone up and back again, downward facing dog. And just rocking with the breath. Inhale, come forward, high plank. Exhale, seat high, downward facing. Just one last time, breathe and come forward, high plank. And hold it right here. Mm -hmm. Take a breath and lengthen, press back through the heel. As you exhale, dip the right knee towards the mat. And so if you dip it down, let it hover, pressing through the left heel. So you're getting a little stretch through the left calf. And then breathe in, right leg straightens. And exhale, left knee bends, just hovering right over the mat, not touching. And then breathe and straighten. And exhale, drop two knees, bend the elbow straight back, chest and chin. Breathe and slide forward along the belly, peel the fronts of the ribs up, elbows hug into the body, cobra. And then exhale, press it back, downward facing dog, seat high. Take a full breath in and a deep breath out. When you're ready, breathe and rise on up to your tiptoes. Bend the knees, look forward, walk, or maybe a little hop to the top of your mat. Breath in, halfway lift, hands to your shins, collarbones fold hard as the heart moves forward. And then exhale, fold down and into your legs. And then breath in, rise all the way on up to stand, sweeping the arms Gosh. out wide and high. I think you're gathering everything good around you and then pulling it down into your heart, hands meet right at the center of your chest. Breathe and reach up and overhead again, stretching long through the sides of the waist as the feet move down into the mat. And then exhale, forward fold, emptying everything out. Breathe and halfway lift. To exhale, fingertips find the mat, left foot steps back with the knee down. Drop the knee and then inhale, sweep your arms to the sky, crane pose. So checking out your alignment, we always want to stack the joints. So right ankle under the right knee, not behind or in front of, but right in there. Take a breath and reach the arms up. Exhale, let the shoulders drop away from the ears. Just one more breath in. And then exhale, hands come down to the mat, step back, downward facing dog. Hips are high. Talking about you know, shifting our perspective, shining bright, shooting positivity, radiating that out from within. So we're gonna 
fire up our core a bit. Breathe in as you're running like go through the sky. We'll bend the knee or bend the hips. So bend the right knee, let the left right heel fall in towards the right foot, the left hip bone. And then breathe in, straighten the leg. You exhale, bring your knee into your nose, pull it in. Grounding spine. Inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, knee into your nose, moving up the pit of your belly, grounding your spine. Inhale, leg goes high. And last time, exhale, pull it in. You shift your gaze forward, step the foot in between your hands. Back leg stays long and firm. Collarbones move apart as the shoulders lift. Your base is so strong, your core behaves that you can float the fingertips off of the mat if you need to. Awesome. Nice. Take a breath in, lengthen. Breath out, squeeze the inner thighs together. One more, inhale. Exhale, hands come down, left foot steps up to meet the right. Breathe in, halfway lift. Fold into the leg. Hands rise all the way on up to stand, arms to the sky. And exhale, forward fold, right back down. Breath in, halfway lift. Fingertips to the mat. Right foot steps back, knee down. Keeping the toes curled under, your knees something to press back and through. Arms to the sky, crane pose. Checking out your alignment before you rise. Knee over ankle. Awesome. And allowing yourself to sink down so there's a passivity, there's a surrender to it, but then active as you squeeze the inner thighs together. Lengthen through the sides of the waist. Nice, let the heart open, the head maybe falls back slightly. And then exhale, hands come down, step back, downward facing dog. High, heavy, heavy and low. Jaw soft, maybe even shaking the head, yes and no. Choose a positive thought. When you're in struggle, when you're in a difficult situation, choose a positive thought. Left toes lift as you breathe in. And then bend the knee over the hip. So left hip stacks over the right. Right heel keeps reaching for the earth. And then breathe and straighten the legs, square off the hips. Exhale, knee to nose, pull it in. Inhale, leg goes high. Exhale, knee to nose, rounding hip like we were in the cat pose at the beginning. Inhale, leg high, last one. Exhale, pull it in as close as you can get it. Knee to nose, and then look forward. Step your foot there. Your back leg stays long and active and engaged, pressing through the heel as your heart pulls forward. So think of lengthening the crown of your head away from your back heel. Hover your fingertips off of the ground. You need to take one more big breath in. And then exhale, fingertips come down to the mat. Left, right foot steps up to meet the left. Breathe in a long spine, halfway lift. Fold into your legs. Fire up a notch, big toes together, bend the knee, drop the feet, chair pose, sweep to asana. Right, intense asana. So speed drops, arms sweep to the sky, the pit of the belly, flex up and in. And as you reach, keep the shoulders soft. There's no tension or tightness around the neck and the jaw. So again, when we practice, this helps simulate what we encounter in life. But there always will be challenging poses, challenging people challenging situations, but in the midst of it, can we choose a positive perspective or an action that helps get us closer to that? Take one more breath in, and then exhale, forward fold, right? Just the thought that like it will end, that's positive. Take a breath <laughs> in, halfway lift, and then fingertips to the mat, left foot steps back, knee down. Just one breath into your crane pose, arms sweep high, and then exhale, downward facing dog, hands to the mat, step back. So breath in, right toes lift. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Breathe in, straighten the legs, square it up. And then just one time, knee to your nose, and a really good time. Hold it as close as you can get it, and then step it through. Okay, so your base again, strong and steady, back leg, back leg active, fingertips floating, so now you can rise straight up into Crescent Warrior. Shoulders stacked over the hips. Knees 
that little lift of the low belly. So instead of the hip bones collapsing into the right thigh crease, you feel it lifting, core engages. Okay, you take one more breath in, and then we have, find a little buoyancy in your, in your stance, right? You've got a little spring, you're spring loaded. Hands to your heart, left knee into your chest. Step on up, nice. Take a breath in, point your left toes, and flex, point, flex. One more time, point, and then flex. With that heel up, you'll drive it to the front of the room. Reach it out, take the hands to the sky, hold it steady, breath in, maybe you rise up just a little bit more. Maybe you smile. Ah. <laughs> and then exhale, really sweet together. Shake it out. <laughs> Everyone's like this. <laughs> Super serious. This <laughs> yoga is so stressful. <laughs> no, it's not. All right, reset. Hit the reset button. Take a breath in. Open your mouth, let it out. <sighs> Big toes together at the top of the mat. Bend the knees, drop the seat, chair pose. Use your posture. Sit down and do it. Just take a breath in. Breath out. One more. Fill up. And then exhale, forward fold, let it go. See, it's over. Nothing lasts forever. Take a breath in, halfway lift. Fingertips to the mat, right foot steps back, knee down. Breath in, arms to the sky, crane pose. Just one breath in, reach up. Exhale, hands down, step back, downward facing dog. Breath in, left toes lift. Bend the knee, open the hip. Straighten your back out. Pull the knee into your nose. Press out all your breath. Find the bottom of that exhale and then look forward steps. All right, set up your base. Strong, steady feet and your thighs hugging together. Fingertips light. Rise all the way on up. Press the floor here. Nice variation with crescent. Anytime that you feel like you need a little bit extra support, you can always drop the back knee back down to the mat. Take a full breath in. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Find that spring-loaded action, right? Back knee is bent. You can push off of the right, follow the foot, step on up, knee to chest. Point, flex, point, flex. One more time, point, and then flex. With that heel active, drive it to the front of the room. Right quad to hug to the thigh bone to keep the leg lifted. Quad on the left leg, hug to keep that thigh back. Breathe in, take your arms to the sky, come up onto your tiptoes, wobble with it, it's okay if you fall, and then come down, nice, into your side, big toes together to touch, breathe in, arms up and overhead, and exhale, forward fold, hips back, heart forward, and head drop, Just breathe in, halfway lift, and then plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Take one full breath in. Open the mouth, let it out. Slowly drop your knees to the mat. Swing your feet around so you can come to seat it. Grab a hold of the fronts of your knees, sit up nice and tall. Kind of just lean back a little bit. So without collapsing the lower back, just sit back and feel a little drag pad of support. Yep, feet lift. Now at any time that the lower back starts to collapse, just give yourself a hand, put your hands down behind you, keep the spine lifted. So you can hang here, feet low, ankles in line with the knees, or all out. Right, welcome to shaking. Take a breath in, right leg goes out. Roll it up and in. Left leg out. In. No hands. Two together. And then turn the palms down and we've got five. Four. Pump it. Three, <laughs> two, and one. Hug the knees back up into the chest. Feet down. Take a breath in. Sit up nice and tall. Open the mouth. Stick out the tongue. And then back into it. Right onto your little tripod of support. Arms open or behind you. Rock it out one more time. Right leg goes out and in. Left and in. Lower it down. Palms down for five. Four, three, two, 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 and one. Hug the knees into your chest. Rock your spine back down to the mat. 
hug the knees into your chest. Just let your spine settle. And then release your feet down. Walk the knees as close to your seat as you can get them. Hip distance and just one bridge pose. So after that contraction through the abs, now lifting the hips up towards the sky. So hip bones high. Tailbone scoops forward. To the shoulders, moving towards the earth, and then breath just cycling through the whole front body. One more breath in, and then exhale, lower the spine to the mat. Let the knees sway side to side. Nice little neutralizing motion for the spine. And back to center, hug the knees. Shavasana and work in yoga? Oh, yes, of course. Okay, <laughs> perfect. So when you're ready, let the legs extend out to the top edges of your mat. Okay, let them fall open. Let the arms just rest heavy at your sides as the eyelids lightly close over the eyes. Take a nice big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth. Let it all empty. Signifying our, our 
choice. The opportunity that we have to begin again and again and again. We never stop. Press the ground away as you make your way up to a comfortable seat. Sits bones rooted, spine nice and tall, heart open. And bring the hands to meet at the center of your chest. Fill our practice with one round of OM, right? filling our bodies in this space with positive vibrations. Take a big breath in to prepare. Some knuckles rise to your third eye center. Receive of highest wisdom and intuitive knowing. Let this truth here within guide us to make a positive choice, to choose positive action on, along our journey at every turn. Namaste. to tell people some events coming up in the studio? Yes, so we have um, this Sunday, we have a full moon flow. That's at 8.45 on Sunday. Um, we also have next Thursday, we have the Downward Spiral, which is a yoga bike and brew event in conjunction with Dirty River Bikes and High Street Hop House. And Heather will be leading the flow of that part. Um, so that's an awesome event. And then we also have a partnership or a collaboration with Countryside Conservancy coming up. Um, it's the third Wednesday of every month and we talk about uh, what's called the Mindfulness Matters series. And we're talking about uh, yoga principles, food and life choices, and how that affects our overall community. Um, so there's a yoga portion of it and then kind of like discussion and then is that at Do Good? Or it's at, at Do Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Do Good is located at Northside um, Market over by um, the Hilt. Luigi's. The Luigi's. Yeah, yeah over in the new courtyard. Um, and so Dirty River Bikes is over there too. Mm -hmm. And Nodo North. Nodo North. So come and check us out over that way. Um, Trina will be back in the coming weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> um, she's, she logged on live today um, from Boulder, I believe she's. So hi Trina, and um, so check out our work. I mean, check out our Win It Wednesdays. It will be um, for all of our sun products. So um, and join us next week for work in Toodaloo. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Finish.